Can you talk about the significance of U.S. troops in Taiwan helping to train uh, Taiwan soldiers? I think the first thing to to consider is that this is not new. This is an expansion of an activity that was already occurring and has been since at least 2022. Now, the significance of U.S. forces in Taiwan can never be necessarily understated. It is generally inflammatory toward cross-strait relations and U.S.-China relations. This is a high point of tensions between the U.S. and China. Uh, Xi Jinping going to Moscow to to meet with Vladimir Putin. Uh, the U.S. is threatening to release intelligence regarding Chinese plans to start feeding weapons into the Ukraine war on Russia's side. Um, so geopolitically, this placed into context is another you know another inflammatory piece of kind of what's happening regionally. This report is highlighting that the United States will help Taiwan with tactics and weapons that could deter a Chinese invasion. What what are these tactics? Taiwan once had a defense plan called the Overall Defense Concept, which called for a more asymmetric approach to defending their island, which would be more in line with this kind of porcupine strategy. Now, what we saw before that and presently is more of an emphasis on high-dollar, high-technology items like the Abrams tank, um, manned fighter jets, uh, things like the Indigenous Submarine Program. Now, these are not necessarily in step with an asymmetric plan for defending Taiwan. However, with uh, U.S. Uh, inclusions in the last uh, National, defense, National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 23, there are a number of provisions in there for how the United States might better provide Taiwan with weapons to defend itself. And if the U.S. has those capabilities to provide weapons instead of relying on the old way of uh, waiting for Taiwan to buy from the United States, now we can provide that gives the U.S. more more opportunities for shaping and maybe directing Taiwan back to that more asymmetric approach that fits a better plan for both to engage with. We've seen an increase in U.S. presence in Japan, the Philippines, and now Taiwan in the coming months. What does this say about the U.S.'s shift to Asia and trying to ensure security in, in the region? So what I think is the, the real important piece here is that regional allies are bringing the United States in more because, you know, the United States, as you mentioned, this pivot to Asia, we've been trying that since uh, you know, 2008 with limited success. We've had regional partners like Philippines flirting with Beijing throughout that entire period. The U.S.-Philippines alliance was on kind of a rocky foundation. And now you see President Marcos saying it would be very difficult for us to remain outside of a U.S.-China conflict over Taiwan and now pulling closer to their traditional security ally, the United States, and allowing that access into the northern reaches of Philippines. Uh, Japan doing the same, aggressively changing their um, uh, their defense footing to prepare for what they see as a very real possibility of conflict in their region over Taiwan. 